Welcome to the Pink Ink Art Journal um, construction. Uh, this is how your journal will come to you. It'll come to you in a cellophane bag and in a, in a pad. Um, and in here you'll have all the pre-printed pages um, to construct your journal. So you've got uh, spine, uh, book jacket, front, book jacket, back. Over 150 elements to cut out and use as dec decorative pieces for your pages. And then you've got all the double page spreads. I won't go through all of it, but um, this is how it will come to you. Um, and I suggest that you do your colouring while it's flat in the pad. Try not to um, actually construct uh, the piece and then do your colouring. I What I do is I do all the pieces of colouring which I've got down here. I colour all the little components, cut them out and I leave them in a tray so I've got them to hand to then use uh, for the construction of the pages. So we're going to start with the book jacket and obviously I have um, pre-coloured mine. Um, so we've got the book jacket front, the book jacket back, the outer spine, and this is what it's called actually in the in the paper pad, outer spine and inner spine. Um, and I'll actually just show you the, photo, uh, the picture, the illustrated page for the spine because that's what we're going to do first. So um, I've obviously jumped ahead with mine. Um, any arrows you see on uh, pages means score. So what you'll do is draw, um, uh, run a tool, a, sh a sharp pointy tool, an embossing tool or back of a scalpel or something and a straight edge and you're going to put all your score lines across all the dotted lines and all the dash lines. So anything with a dot and a dash is a score. Um, now here we've also got M and V. M stands for mountain, V for valley, so you're going to have the dashes are going to be mountain folds and the dots are going to be valley folds. Uh, so once you've put all your score lines in, and again you want to do this before you cut it out, then you're going to cut it out with scalpel or scissors and you'll end up with a piece like this. And I've again jumped ahead, um, but you're going to put some either red liner tape or you can just use wet glue, you can use cosmic shimmer glue if you like. And what we're going to do is make your valley and mountain folds. And so it's going to go like this. So if you can see, so it'll be easier to show actually when I've glued the whole lot. I've already glued the first three. So what you're creating is a flat back and then little um, uprights, which are your mountains, which are going to be, uh, the, uh, that's going to hold your double page spreads. So um, uh, you obviously put all your score lines in and I always say you really do need to use a bone folder to get your folds in properly. This book, it does really need to be accurate when you're, um, when you're doing it. Um, so everything lies square. So I've got red liner tape here. Um, I'm just going to close the mountain folds. You can use wet glue as well if you want to and just to be doubly sure but um, red liner tape's um, perfectly adequate. And then fold the last one. So you've basically got like a concertina shape but you've got a flat back like that. Okay so that's your inner spine. Um, then your um, outer jackets um, you're going to have, uh, again, actually on the, on the sheet, the printed sheet, uh, um, just go here, book jacket left, you're, again you'll see the black um, arrows and you're going to draw um, or put in a, a score line uh, for the fold of the spine. Um, now if by accident you happen to chop off the, the black arrows and you forget, there's a little tiny dot here and here just to remind you where that score line is going to go. So don't worry about that. So what I've done is I've put a score line at the side and a score line in the center. And I've done that on the front and the back of the jacket. Um, and then you're going to fold it over 
and this goes the fold is the opposite way so we've got it like this now the reason we have put this extra one in rather than just having one is if you're wanting to use alcohol markers um, and the alcohol markers come through your paper once you've sandwiched them together with glue you're not going to see the back so it's not going to spoil um, and it's going to be the same with the inner pages that you'll be able to use alcohol markers as well as crayons watercolors what, whatever you want to use um, so our first job is to join the outer spine I've, I've colored the outer to match um, the um, jackets you're going to glue this edge to there so I'll do it on the colour side so it's a bit easier for you to see. Um, I think we'll use liner tape, but again, use whatever you like. And, and then you're just going to join the two together. It's such a, a simple, simple construction. Um, my scissors gone. Scissors gone walkabout, so we'll use a scalpel. I generally actually at home always use a scalpel, just find it easier. So we're going to peel this off and then we're just going to add the outer spine and it's got to be level with the score line and make it square. And then we're going to do the same for the other side. So again, this edge here is going to join this score line here so again a little bit of liner tape take the backing off so that's the back this is the front join up the score lines if you've got a little if you've got wet glue just to give you a chance to actually manoeuvre it if you haven't got it bang on straight and the other thing is if you don't want to actually see the black lines or the illustration just colour it on the reverse and, and do it that way so this is now our jacket like this and um, so we're going to bring this round and then these are the pages of our jacket like that so our spine is going to sit in the gap we've just created with the outer spine so inner spine is going to stick to the outer spine so we use a bit of cosmic shimmer glue for this one because I want to make sure that it's um, exactly in the right place. Okay. So center it. You'll have a little bit of a gap, top and bottom, but as long as it's centered. And obviously you're going to cover the little um, tabs of the, of the front and back jacket. So we have now made our spine for which our pages are going to stick to. So what we can do now is actually glue these down and that becomes the front back. It also gives it a bit of strength actually having it um, double, double sided. But um, the real reason was because of the um, um, alcohol pen. Some people obviously like to use those for their colouring. So we'll do the same the other side. I think we'll just make this a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, that's better. So. front to back and of course you could I haven't coloured mine but you could colour the insides as well the, the whole piece could be coloured so it's all um, colour coordinated so that's the very basic simple form of how to construct our jacket okay right now moving on to um, some of the pages. Now we've got numbers um, on the pages as well. I haven't actually cut mine out but they're here. They're really really sweet and you can actually put your pages in any order you like but in the instructions I have um, actually said this is page one and that's page two but that's um, entirely up to you how, you how you do it. So what we're going to do is we've got um, our armoire and part of the one of the illustrations actually is the doors for the armoire. So you've got the back and then the doors, um, right and left, 
which again, if there's a score line with black arrows on the illustration, you're going to score, fold with your bone folder and close the door. So that's why you need to colour on the inside so that when you open your armoire, you're actually going to see it. And then your armoire, the back of your armoire, fits to your page. Um, you could be really clever and you could put something in like um, shelving and put little things, you know, illustrate little bottles or clothes, you know, wardrobe or clothes. Um, you could do anything that you liked. And that's our door. I love this page. I think it's such a pretty page. So that's page one. Uh, now page two, there is actually another envelope if you wanted to um, do decoupage and, and make it in relief, you can do, and we've got a little pen as well, but I'm just going to, to leave this page um, as it is because I think it's just quite pretty. I mean it'd be lovely if, to write somebody's name in it perhaps, or the, their address. So what we're going to do is we're going to close it and we're going to glue it together. Now with all the pages this applies, you want to make sure you leave a centimetre at the closing edge without glue because this is where it's going to actually attach to um, the spine and if we put glue in it um, then we won't actually be able to fit it on so I'll just close it up so about here is where I put page one but I mean you could put it anywhere you like put it at the top or the side or, or not bother with it at all so that's our first page uh, second page, now the reason I've said this is second page is because um, I wanted the envelopes to match, you've got the front and the back, but again you don't have to do it in, in that order. Um, and then we want to go back to our cutting mat, now this is entirely optional, um, we can actually use the envelope to put something in, you could, you could leave it as it is so it's um, just an envelope with, a, with a, a back and then we're going to put the flap on the top so it opens like that. Or what you can do, you can actually do it so it's got uh, uh, the facility to put something actually in the envelope, like a little message or a, or a, um, a like a tag or something. So what we need to do is we're just going to with a scalpel cut away uh, this part of the envelope. I mean, how far you take this um, little journal is entirely up to you. You could keep it just really simple and just use what's there. Or you could really go to town and you know go really bonkers with it. Um, so now we've got actually access to the inside of our page through this little aperture we've just made. So when we put the um, top of the envelope in, we want the tag or the tab to be up and under, so it's hidden, so that when we open it, we don't see the the tab. It's disguised. So that's where that's going to fit. So I'm going to just glue the tab here at the top so again a little bit of cosmic shimmer and stick it down so that's our little envelope I mean it'd be lovely also if what you did you could do is um, actually colour the back of this page so that it had a coloured inside to your envelope so make sure it goes right to the top a little bit more. Okay, second page, uh, no, that's the third page, beg pardon, is the book. This is one of my, apart from the armoire, I think this is my favourite. So what we've got here is a book with an, uh, an exterior jacket and we've also got another page that we can put in. So if you wanted to write a message, um, happy birthday or a sentiment you could put that on the inside so you've got sort of like a, a folding book um, but what I've done with this one which um, uh, I think is a really nice technique to do to, in order to close the book what you can do is put a ribbon in and what I do is I make a slit in the jacket that's going to accommodate this um, really pretty ribbon um, that's all matching and then just very gently push it through and then we're actually going to put a little bit of glue to hold it in place. Like that. Um, and there's loads of little um, ephemera that you can cut out and actually stick on the top to disguise that. So um, let's cut this one out. Now my, my top, top tip for cutting out the ephemera 
is not to cut on the illustrated line, is to actually cut, it doesn't matter whether you cut a millimetre or several millimetres beyond the line because um, as long as it's uniform it doesn't matter. So if you're going to cut a, a millimetre make sure it's all a millimetre. If it's three mil make, it, make sure it's three mil and it won't look any the worse for having a little bit of um, white paper. If you actually cut the illustration off you sort of lose a bit of the integrity of the illustration and it can spoil it a, a little bit. So that's going to disguise that. Um, uh, oh, make sure it's up the right way up, so that's upside down, right way up Cathy. There we go. Um, and then what we're going to do is, um, with the page here, I'm going to stick the page just to the inside of this tab. So this is our first opening page. Now if you're really clever, again, if you want to um, take it even further, what I've done is I've actually used this as a template, this page, and I have um, made uh, like 10 sheets out of copy paper and I've stuck one to the other just at the, at the spine so you've got a 10 page book and I've given this book a bit of a, um, like a 5 mil um, spine so it makes more of a book. Uh, that's not necessary but it does make a really lovely little job of it depending on if you want to put lots of messages in and then of course you can then stick down this tab to your book so that's going to go like that again you could put more ephemera on the jacket you could write a nice message and then what we're going to do with the other side is we're going to cut this ribbon in half um, and we're going to do exactly the same thing but with this side. Now use the le uh, left hand side as a little mark just to know that you make sure it's central. So we're going to just go down like that and then I'm going to poke this one in. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same. Now this one we don't have to cover, cover with anything decorative because this actually is going to be the inside of our of our um, book and it's not going to be seen. So when that's dry we'd be able to tie the two together and make a really pretty decorative bow. And what we're going to do is glue the front and the back together. We have to remember not to put any glue here. Now what you can do, you can use a pencil or a tool and just put a little mark so you know where not to glue. Um, glue round it. Now remember leave a centimetre at this edge for the spine. If you accidentally um, put glue there you'll just have to very carefully prise it open again and then we're going to join these two together. Um, the pens that I've used to colour mine are just um, like a, um, a koi pen, like a, wa a watercolour brush. But you could use any any um, any pens, and the paper is just so pretty. It really lends itself um, to uh, watercolours. It takes watercolour ever so well. Um, it's a great smooth surface. So now what we can do is we can um, tie a bow to close our little book um, and trim the ends. Like that. And I just think it makes a really nice um, little finishing touch to that book. So that's our next page. So that's page uh, three and four. Um, and then I think this is the next one. Now apertures, I've, obviously I've pre-painted, I've pre-scored. So that's going to be our right and left of the page. And I've cut the aperture out. And this really is perfect for putting your, um, if you want to do a bit of artwork or a photograph or something like that. And I, we've got a pink ink um, rice paper here and I thought this, um, actually I think that one will be quite nice. Um, will look really pretty um, as the background, just as, just as an example, but it could pretty well be anything. So trim it to size. And 
that's going to be put there. I mean, we have used some really lovely um, um, family uh, photographs, which you'll see on the packaging. The pa packaging is um, Mel's mum and my mum and dad on their engagement day and my great aunt. Oops, upside down. Always check you've got it the right way up. Like that um, and then this one here I think we've got a little little um, pocket again uh, this one has got dash lines to show where the score lines are but also on the illustration has got a black arrow so you can follow the black arrows so you're going to score fold over with your bone fold to get a really good crisp sharp edge um, and then we're going to stick that down as well and then you can put either more ephemera in your pocket or put um, photographs or anything that you like and it's all drawn to fit and match and all look beautiful all together so that's our next page so in here you know you could put your little envelopes or or anything you like um, again we're going to close close it up remember leave a centimeter at the end because that's where it's going to attach itself to the spine so that's the third one uh, fourth one you do exactly the same again um, just get a little bit of bit of the daisy use that daisy I think put that one in I'd like to get it actually finished what we're going to do is probably do a bit of a fast time at the end where I'm decorating it up so um, you can see, actually see the finished piece so same again we've tried to design it there's something going on on every page so right way up I'll just check it's the right way up yeah lovely just get rid of any excess Um, and then we're going to close the page again, leaving a centimetre at the end. Close it up. And then this one here, we've got a little corner pocket. So again, I've scored on the dotted lines, illustrated with black arrows on the um, art journal. And so if that's the right way up, I'm going to have it in... We can either have it in that corner. I think I'm going to have it in that corner. Just use your optional extras. So that goes on there. And then, so we go like that. And then our last page is this gorgeous little mouse. Um, and on this side, we do actually have a little um, pocket that you can use. Again, it's it's optional. You don't have to use it. Um, I seem to be missing my... It has got... Well, I'll have a look for it in a moment. It has got a little top to the pocket as well. Um, but anyway, this has got score lines again. You're going to fold them under and make your pocket. Now your pocket, you don't have to use the illustrated side, you could actually do the reverse and if you wanted to do your own drawing you could do that. Um, and then we're going to just glue this down. I mean this would be lovely with a, again a little message in it or a lottery ticket or um, you know or an air, if you're doing an heirloom for a grandchild and just make it all really personal. So I'm going to I want to leave a little bit of room for the um, top of the pocket which I'm hoping is going to be is that it oh yes that's it there we are that's the top of it again you don't need to put it on you could use that to put your your um, bits and bobs in or I'll just put a, put a score line in here because we're missing one and score along fold over bone folder just to make sure it's nice and crisp um, and then this one sits at, above it so you can open it like that which is really pretty um, and we're going to go 
just centre it up. Um, and what you can do is just add a little tiny real button on there and that really looks nice. Um, and I'm going to go over like this, join the edges together, leave a centimetre at the opening end and join. And then what we're going to do is we're then going to add our pages to our, our spine, our front um, and back spine with the inner spine here. Now I'm going to start with my um, armoire, that's going to be my first page. And what we're going to do is, so we don't get in a mess, we're actually going to put glue over the first tab. Um, just a little bit. You don't want to have so much that it's oozing out. And then this is where we're going to use those little openings that we've made of, of a centimetre because it's just going to slot onto that tab and it fits exactly. And make sure it's on the outside so the tab is on the inside. So let's do it again. Okay, so um, we're fast forward. I've added all the other pages um, to the journal so you can see this is how they're, they're fitting. Um, and then I've added a little um, uh, decorative piece to the front on some craft foam pads. And then what we can do is we can actually add um, a little clasp to the journal. We glue this to the back. There's varying sizes, so it's up to you what size you use. We stick that, make sure it's fairly central. Um, and then I'm going to make sure that it closes about like that. I want to have room because depending on whether you're going to put lots of ephemera in here, you obviously want to have it wider. So I want mine fairly wide. Um, and then round here you can use any of the ephemera just to sort of feed it through. So you could put a little um, decorative um, floral piece. Um, we've got all sorts of um, tags, labels, all sorts that would do the job for, for doing that. And then we've also got um, all the extra bits that make it so pretty and, and unique and different. So again, craft foam pads, but you could use uh, 3D gel just to decorate your pages. Um, we've got, actually I wonder if I, I don't know if I cut it out or not. Again, we've got some pens that you could cut out and add those to your um, envelope pages. So that could be an extra. We've got a beautiful B. Um, I want to open my envelope, so I don't think I'm going to put that there. I've got another hedgehog, so we could have one at the top. Uh, there's so much, sometimes it's a bit too much, I don't know what to do for the best. Actually, that looks nice. I love this bee, it's such a pretty bee. Put that there. Still got room to use your pocket. Um, and my lovely little mouse, I've got an extra mouse here. So I'll put that on. And I think we're pretty well much coming to the end. There we go. So I hope you've enjoyed the video um, and that it's given you some ideas of how to, to decorate and use, but, um, but predominantly how to actually construct the journal with that um, spine. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.